question and call your beer while you're sleeping, bitch. It's Kaiju here. Uh, I'm going to be trying a new thing on uh, my channel. It's uh, unboxing. Um, I'm signed up to uh, Loot Crate and I get these once a month. I'm planning on doing the Loot Crate um, anime at some point along with these. Um, I was in California for two months, didn't get my didn't get to get my loot crate, so now we're going to uh, open these and see what's in them. So let's do that. Oh, oh boy, a Walking Dead loot crate. The show I stopped watching after like the third season. Let's see what we got. What the fuck? Ah! The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, skin face or whatever his name is I've never actually seen the movie I'm sorry a dude running around with a chainsaw with a fucked up face it never really interested me I watched uh, more kind of like uh, real horror movies I don't know Negan Slugger that's pretty cool it's uh, the same guy that plays uh, Sam and Dean's father out of uh, Supernatural. I really like that show. Camp Crystal Lake, Friday the 13th. That's going up on my wall. It's pretty cool. I think I already have this. I think I got this in another box or something. Regrettable villains. It might have been regrettable superheroes. I don't remember. And I uh, don't exactly know where it's at at the moment. Oh, oh cool. Nightmare Glove, Freddy, oh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Glove, Chopsticks. Those are pretty cool though. I don't like the thing at the top. Um, I know I, I actually know how to use chopsticks. I don't need a baby, a chop thing at the top to use them. Lived in Japan for three years. Not that I'm not claiming I'm Japanese, I'm just saying when you live over there for three years, you learn how to use it. Oh, oh cool. John Carpenter's Halloween. I collect these out of the boxes and the pen. It's pretty cool. And this is uh, the October, last month's. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, last month's. I think about that for a minute. And then just a manual describing everything in there. Whoa! Hello! Zombies give me nightmares and then, you know, I dig this out of the bottom of my box and I later shit my pants. So I'm like... It's alright though. Fucking cover your ugly ass up, dude. Mama! Mama, I'm coming home! Next one. Oh, Jesus. Put the label over top of. Oh, my fingernails are not good enough for this. Uh, Freaking. Got these uh, Kodama. They're little glow in the dark Kodama. I got them online. You get like five or six of them for like. Ouch. Ow. You get like five or six of them for like. Uh, Ten bucks. Like all in the dark and shit. I don't know why he's not coming. There it is. They're pretty cool. What do I got this month? I think this is. Ah, uh, which one is this? I think this is super. Oh, magical. Got an Elder Scrolls pen. It's pretty cool. Has a little uh. Lion, dragon, bird all puking each other up. Doctor Strange with my one of my least favorite actors. Been a suck dick, Cumberbitch. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, 
Fantastic Beasts. I was like, I don't understand the reference. I thought maybe it was like a purge or something because I've never watched those stupid movies either. Um, but it's uh, from Fantastic Beasts, which explains why I've never seen it. The night is dark and full of terrors. Game of Thrones. Okay. It's not going to help me sleep tonight. I'm dark and full of terrors too. But you don't hear me bitching about it. Uh, oh. It's, uh, it's a memo book. That's cool. I'll keep all my work knowledge in there. For those of you who don't know, I am a uh, huge tech nerd. Um, I'm actually uh, IT support. So that's a pretty cool job. It, uh, it sucks sometimes. You get abused, you get kicked around. People think they can treat tech support however they want, but, you know, I mean, it's whatever. I get to play with computers and cyber, you know, I get to do cool cybersecurity stuff. Get to do all that. Magical Hollywood hacking. Jesus. Jesus. Mashup of one of my favorite movies with um, another movie I never saw. I saw Escape from L.A. Kurt Russell is one of my favorite actors. And this is uh, Big Trouble in Little China and Escape from New York. I've never seen Escape from New York. I've seen Escape from L.A. I think that's it with uh, Kurt Russell. Terrible movie. I'm, the whole time I'm watching that, I'm like, Kurt, why? These these lines are just terrible. Like you're pretending to be Solid Snake or whoever it is from Metal Gear Solid, but his 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 dialogue is just awful. It's so cringy, and he's such a good actor, and he just. I'm just watching this movie the whole time, and it's they compact like five hours worth of action into like an hour and a half of just terrible dialogue, and it was so disappointing. And I just. Uh, that about sums it up. So yeah, I got a comic. Probably not going to open that. I just left that in the package. I realized just now that as I'm thrusting things at you, it's probably a little bit out of focus. And I apologize for that. Um, I don't have my camera on uh, automatic focus. Oh, well, apparently this is already open. I don't have my camera on automatic focus because it makes a little weird noises ka -ching, ka -ching, ka -ching, every now and again and it's super fucking annoying. I think I need to send it back and have it uh, cleaned because the lens is uh... I've had the camera for, let me see, I've been seven years. I've had the camera for like five years. I do all my photography with it. Um, if you guys would like to see some of my photography, I can actually throw that up for you. Uh, I would just need to watermark a bunch of my stuff so nobody, you know, fucking decides to take some of my pictures. Because I'm actually trying to make kind of a living off of it. Like, I know it sounds, I know it sounds bad. Like, you know, how can you put a price on art and, you know, ideas and, you know, what's, what's the difference? Why can't you just Google a photo of something you want to find? And it's, it's just... I, you know, I really, I really enjoy photography. Like, I'm good at writing, I write music, I do photography. Um, I was never good at drawing, so it's just something that I can do um, to express myself in the world around me and show people what I'm seeing. And uh, I'm proud of my photography. Like, I bought my camera five years ago, five, six years ago, and uh, I put it on manual. And I've just used it in manual ever since. You don't get, you know, a, 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 a thousand... $700 camera, seven, you know, between seven thousand dollars, you don't get that kind of camera, and then um, turn on automatic. That's stupid. It's it's wasting all the features. So I put it on manual, and I told myself I was going to learn how to use it. So all of my photos come out of the camera the way that I actually took them. I never run any of my photos through any kind of like Photoshop or Lightroom, or I never touch them up. And I'm proud of that. I, I'm pr I'm proud of my photography. And I would like to start selling my stuff. Um, I just need to actually sit down and watermark some of it and uh, get it out there. I haven't had time, but I have like a whole photo folder folder on my computer of these prints 
that um, I can print out from Walmart. And I'm actually going to print a few of them out for myself for Christmas because some of them are really good. Um, I'll see if I can watermark them and throw up like maybe a slideshow or something uh, for you guys if that's what you want to see. But um, so with my video games, um, I'm probably not going to, with the exception of horror games, just because, you know, it's, it, it's funny to do it. I know it's overplayed, but I enjoy doing it. I enjoy people seeing my reaction whenever I'm scared. Um, other than like weird, weird, really weird games or horror games, I'm probably going to exclude my face. You know, this fucking ugly mass of shit on my body um, from my uh, camera. Unless, you know, you guys want to see my face. Because sometimes my facial reactions are like the best thing about me. Uh, but, uh, you know, so. Other than having a face uh, that only a mother could love. Um, the other thing is I'm really embarrassed about my teeth. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, I'm going to try and come up with uh, maybe a game for next time. I apologize if this was a little boring, but I do enjoy my nerdy shit. And then uh, this is a whole shelf behind me of all of my stuff. Um, Buddha beer. They have really cool bottles. I plan on uh, putting some LEDs inside of those and getting them to glow. Uh, my Kodama. Um, these really cool Mario shits. Uh, Futurama. My Dungeons and Dragons dice. Um, really old cameras that I got at a flea market. It's real cool. It's an old Minolta and an old Hawkeye that I'm going to refurbish. And uh, Vault Boy, obviously. And then uh, up top, where you can't see, I have like my Chinese dragon and a bunch more nerd shit. And uh, some uh, scouters from Dragon Ball Z and shit. And it's just, uh, that's where I put on my, most of my nerdy shit. Um, I have my I have my, uh, have my Nerf guns put away, uh, cause I was gone for two months, but, um, yeah. So, uh, like the video, subscribe, and let me know what else you want to see, um, I'll start doing it, uh, and then, uh, keep track of, uh, my other channel with my buddy, and that's, uh, that's our creative channel, um, we post things, uh, Short skits and uh, things that uh, that we like to do. Um, yeah, so uh, comment, subscribe, like the video, let me know what else you want to see, and uh, I'll try and oblige. Other than that, um, I will see all of you next time.